Okay, hi guys. I'm 35 weeks and 5 days today. Um, so if I look exhausted, there's a reason why I look like crap. Um, I went today for my um, NST, which is just my non-stress test, just routine. I just go there and they hook the babies up to monitors and they look at them and make sure they're doing good, check my fluid levels, yada yada. And they always have me... Um, they do the dipstick test for protein for my urine. They just do that as normal protocol because um, I have high blood pressure, and but it's controlled with meds, so it's always looked good. So today, instead of being negative for protein or just trace, which is actually really normal, um, it came back actually um, 2 plus. And so they were all kind of concerned and everything, so after the, after the NST, they walked us over to L&D, which was kind of scary, but, you know, I wasn't really thinking anything. I thought, oh, big deal, you know, they're just going to um, check the baby, say everything's fine, go home, yeah. So, um, basically, we spent six hours at the hospital today, and I am exhausted. Um, they, they, as you can see, I'm still wearing my, my hospital bands. I need to cut these off, but um, we literally just got home. So, what happened is they had me, um, of course, get in the gown and everything, and um, they put the babies back on the monitors, which made the girls very happy, since we all know how much they love those monitors. Um, they, weren't, they weren't finding any contractions or anything, but what was so bizarre is that actually my, my two doctors were on call at the hospital that today, so they were both there, and actually they were in doing a C-section when they heard that I was there, and I guess that they kind of had joked with each other, like, oh, maybe we're going to be doing another C-section. But, um, anyways, not funny. So, they, um, they decided to come in and do, well, they had the nurse do a, um, they call it like a clean catch, which is where they put in, like, the small catheter just to get, like, a, a clean catch of urine so that it isn't um, contaminated or anything, it's still sterile. And then they were going to send it to the lab. And when my high-risk OB came in and told me about this, she said, you know, because if it is 2+, plus, if, you're, if you do have protein in your urine, she says, we're just going to call it a day. She says, and we're going to deliver the babies. And seriously, like, I just stared at her. And I looked at her and I said, are you serious? Because um, I wasn't expecting that at all. And she said, you know what? She says, there's no use in putting it off. She says, um... The babies will be okay. They might just have some kind of eating, eating issues, you know, because they don't have all their, like, sucking reflexes and stuff, possibly. But she said when it comes to, like, your health and everything, then we would take the babies. There's no there's no point in putting it off, is what she said. <laughs> when she when she left the room, my husband and I just looked at each other. We're like, oh, crap. Okay, you guys, so stupid. You know what? I didn't even, um, I have my hospital bag in the car. I have car seats and everything, and um, I remember Janelle um, had mentioned, she does vlogs too, had mentioned, well, do you put like your camera and your camcorder in the car? Well, I used to kind of throw them in my purse. Um, today, I didn't have them, and I told my husband, I said, we can't have the girls tonight because I don't have a camera, I don't have a camcorder. They would just have to wait for him to run home, which is like 30 minutes one way, with tra and that's not even including traffic. So that's what I was more worried about. Not, I mean, of course I was worried about delivering them and that they would be okay, but I was so concerned because I'm like, I am not missing this birth. You know, I've waited too long for this. I want to have it on video. I want video. I want pictures. I want it all. So um, that was really scary. But fortunately, the test came back fine, like I mentioned before. And um, my regular OB came in to talk to me, and he said that, you know, they had already discussed that if it came back 2 plus or anything higher, they were going to keep me and deliver the girls. But if it came back trace or 1 plus, they were going to send me home. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I told the doctor, I said, we have 13 more days, just 13 more days, okay? We have to keep these girls in. April 5th, okay? Because that way we know that they'll be good, they'll be ready to be born, um, we'll be more prepared. I was thinking my cats aren't even fed yet. <laughs> You know, I, I just I just felt, I mean, I'm a planner, I'm a type A personality, and this completely just turned everything upside down. So, um, yeah, so it was a scary day. And so now we just kind of wait and see. I see him again on Thursday, which is just two more days, 
and then he's like, we'll check you again, and we'll see if you're spilling any protein, and he says, and then we'll go from there, so, yeah, exciting. <laughs> um, the other thing that's been happening is I've been having contractions. Um, the last two days, I've been having a lot of contractions. Now, they tell me um, that the second I have four in an hour, that I need to come right in, just because it's twins, and I'm, I know I'm going to have to have a C-section. They don't want it to turn into an emergency, and so far, I've gotten up to three in an hour. Um, at first, they were just really tight, and um, but now they're actually like getting like a little bit more painful, and um, and also which is probably like TMI, but I'm being completely honest with everybody here. Um, you know, my like discharge has like completely increased, and so that made me a little bit concerned. I think that things are starting to happen, and you know, my body's starting to prepare. So definitely, these girls are coming. Um, I just hope that it's not anytime within the next few days. 13 days, and yeah, um, April 5th, everybody, April 5th, keep that in mind, pray that they stay until April 5th, um, I'd really rather have it be scheduled where family can be there, and, um, and everything's a little bit more controlled, and I know my animals are taken care of, my house is okay, so, yeah, um, so that's about it, I can't believe that, um, we're having these scares, and I'm sure it's gonna, well, I don't want to say it's going to happen more and more, but because I'm getting so close to the end, it's kind of going to happen that way. So, for all of you that have followed me since the beginning, can you believe it? Like, soon, these baby girls, can you see how big my belly is? <laughs> these these baby girls are going to be coming, and I can't wait to show you all what they look like. I can't even wait to find out what they look like. Um, also, I don't know if you guys see, but this is my new recliner. We got it so that I can breastfeed the girls and be comfortable. And it's really fun when I rock in it now because I can feel the girls rocking with it, which is kind of funny. And, and if they're really active, I'll sit in the chair and I'll start rocking them, and they'll go to sleep. So I'm like, yes, it works. It puts them right to sleep. So I'm not sure how long I've gone already with this video. Um, I feel like I'm kind of rambling a little bit, but it was a really long day, and I'm so tired. And Laura, if I look like crap, I already warned you, okay? I'm tired. I have twins in me. I'm allowed to look like crap. So um, let me show you the belly. I'm going to push the camera back a little bit since it's so huge and I don't want to poke anybody's eye out. <laughs> Hold on. I think it should get in the shot. So here we are. Here's the belly at almost 36 weeks, which is full term for girl for, for twins. So that's awesome. <sighs> I definitely feel big. So there it is, in all its glory, and I'm kind of lopsided on one side because I think that there is a baby right here, that's little Leah. So anyways, thank you all for subscribing and continuing to watch me, and um, you know, watching me on my journey here to being a mom. So 13 more days guys, 13 more days. I'll see you soon.